Hi guys, it's Joe from J Creations here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a, a basic mod pack using the Technic Launcher. It's pretty simple, really. Well, if you want to grab yourself some mods from, I think we've just grabbed all Chicken Chunks mods. We'll leave a link to them in the description. Just easy to work with Chicken Chunks because you pretty much know they're going to work. You can test it; that all the mods work together. You get them, put them in a, put them, um, put them in your modded, um, your Forge uh, Minecraft. Which is pretty easy to download, you just download the install, double click it, loads of crap will happen, make sure you install client as well, and then just go onto your thing, open, if you go into your Minecraft, open directory and put them in the mods folder and launch your Minecraft, but yeah, bring another tutorial for that another day, but this is just a basic way, it's pretty simple, and yeah, so you want to, first you want to start a make, a, make a folder called mod pack, and this, in this folder you want to create Two fold, three folders. Configs, mods, and uh, bin. Bin. There we go. And if you are using it, going to want use one point five, you're going to need to add a core mods thing in here as well. Anyway, well, first of all, you want to start off by you want to download Forge. For whatever version you're going to use, make sure it's the universal. Make sure all your mods are compatible with the version, the the version you forge or whatever. And you want to um, rename it to modpack.jar. Make sure it's renamed that and put it in the bin folder. Next, you want to grab these all your mods and put them in the mods folder. And obviously, if you've run um, the pack. On the uh, on the micro client, you get some configs. Put them in there. You can change them, do what you want there. This is basic. What? Yeah, it's pretty simple, really. You then you just want to compress three items, or use WinRAR if you're on the um, Windows. And you just want to rename this to whatever you want, really. I'll just rename it Test Pack Version Version One Zero Point One Point One just for the sake of it and do it like that next you want to um, get your open up Dropbox create an account on Dropbox this is just our Dropbox if you want to go to test pack well I created a folder called test pack anyway you can do whatever really and then you want to grab this ow and then <laughs> sorry about that and then drag uh, test the the pack into it, let it upload. It shouldn't take long. We'll leave you a link if you haven't got a Dropbox pack. We'll leave you a link in the thing. We'll get some more megabytes and stuff. It helps out oh so much. And now, you want to go onto um, technicpack.net. Uh, make sure that's still uploading. Yep. And then, um, you know, register. Uh, fill all your details in and register. But for the sake of this video, I'm just going to log in. As a J Creations, well, Alpha J and Joe for this account, but pretty much J Creations. And then mm, today be nice. And then yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how to do it on it. You wanna create a new mod pack? Ah, oh, three plus is on technical dream. And then uh, you wanna choose the version. We've done it 1.6.4. Just call it because it's all the names are taken. We'll just call it that. And description we'll just call it that. And then put I agree. In fact, we'll just put, we'll just call it Chicken Chunks Mods Pack 123. Because someone's probably already taken it. That'll do. Hidden Pack. Uh, you can if you want, but I'm not going to bother. No point, really. And not configured. So we're going to configure it now. You want to go to Edit. And then your version, put whatever really, ours is 0.1.1. And then a mod pack location, this is where you, this is what Dropbox is used for. You want to get your pack, you see ours is uploaded, you want to click on share link. Yep, whatever. Um, share link, and then you want to wait for it to load. Hopefully it'll be today in our case. Um, I yeah, there we go. Then you want to copy this, see it? 
copy, then you want to go in here and you want to paste it, but you want to go to the front and see where it says YYY, you want to change that to DL, right? And this, you do not want to tick it, because that will mess it up and then it'll be really hard to fix and you'll have to change the, yeah, loads of stuff, you just don't want to tick it. You can add your change log and your permissions and license and, and your pack description. I'm sure you can sort all this out for yourself. You want to save the mod pack. And then you want to open up, uh, what is it? Technic launcher. You want to launch that, and you want to go on here, and you want to. You're gonna have to navigate back to your packs again, since it's pretty much how it works. You want to click onto this pack, and there'll be a link. This is what all your mates and stuff can copy. If you if you just copy the copy the uh, URL, all your mates can do download this and stuff as long as it's not hidden. And you want to get this, then you want to. Go onto the thing and you want to click add pack. Click if you click that and there we go. And you paste that in there. It'll fetch the mod pack. And your mates can do this obviously exactly the same. As long as they have the key. And now it should have appeared somewhere. And then this is it. And then you want to click play. It will initialize dejectories. Then it will download um, the pack. And I'll be back once it's near the end of the download. It's almost downloaded now, and there we go. That's downloaded. It's just unzipping it now, and it's verifying all the um, libraries it needs to verify. And it should verify and should launch up, hopefully, pretty good. So let's just wait for it and I'll get back to you once it's started launching. Right guys, we are back. The pack's just loading now and setting up the Minecraft environment there. And yeah, it's a pretty small mod pack, it shouldn't take too long to load up. To L off to download a few more things here for the um, depth loader. There we go. That's finished now. Just launch, launching up the pack. You should hope that all Chicken Bones mods work together. Yeah, I assume they do. So, let's wait for it to launch up, shouldn't be too long now. Uh, there we go. See, see, 13 mods loaded. Seems to be only added 5, but a few more things. Oh, it's got all the um, wireless redstone add ons and stuff. And then this is your pack, pretty much. You can create a new world. And yeah, it should work like a tree. If you would like a more advanced tutorial on how to make a mod pack, if you post in the comments or if you leave a like and post in the comments, we will be happy to make a more advanced. Um, tutorial on, yeah, on. I like about that. We'll be happy to make more advanced tutorial, and we'll be happy to uh, show the way we do it, and show how you can make sure it works every time. So you don't have to keep making hot fixes and stuff. And yeah, seems to have crashed, right? But I don't know what's happened here. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Joe from J Creations. Until, until the next time, peace out.